Hello fellow trainers, welcome back for more Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we took down the 8th and mysterious gym with the leader Giovanni and tried to get some more HMs, TMs, all that good stuff. Not HMs, but that's not the point. Anyways, in this episode, we headed back over to the Indigo Plateau and ran into a familiar face right here. And we're very face-to-face -face with, aren't, aren't we? What? Snag, what a surprise to see you here! Really? So you're going to the Pokemon League? collected all the badges, too. That's cool. Then I'll wipe you. You'll wipe me? No. Snack, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League? Come on! He is Captain Falcon now! Alright, so we got another Gary battle here. He still has a nonchalant sprite. Seriously, dude, get that fixed, man. That's gotta be a glitch or something. Okay, so his Pokemon are pretty freaking high level. at level 40-something. Oh my god, that is ridiculous, man. So it's a good thing you heal up before you head down this route with the Indigo Plateau. So, yeah. Anyways, level 47 Pidgeot. That's ridiculous. Very cool Pokemon, though. Really like it. Uh, we're going to use Thunderbolt on with Daichu. That way we can take it out. I don't really know what to say about this, quite honestly. The thing about his Pidgeot, it doesn't really learn any good moves. So I wouldn't, like, be too worried about it. Ooh, it got paralyzed, thank god. Very nice. Very good for you, Daichu. Very good for you, Daichu. And that's one Pokemon down. But yeah, his Pidgeot doesn't really learn any good moves. I mean it has sand attack by the time you get by the time you get to this point, so it's like what the frick. I has a Rhydon. Pretty odd. Pretty odd, I am not going to lie. I am Abraham Lincoln. And I have approved this message. Um okay, so Rhydon. I mean, Rhyhorn, bleh. Rhydon's its evolution. Still not that great, even when it evolves, so yeah. Right? This Rhyhorn has the same level as Giovanni's Rhyhorn. Not its other, his other one at 50, but uh, his first one that he sent out. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. Banzai! Level 44! Very nice, Banzai! Okay, so he's gonna call out Venusaur. Let's call out uh, Daichu again. We can go Daichu! Dai Dai Daichu! And Venusaur. I don't know why I called out Daichu. <laughs> I was like, you know, let's try something different. Let's try to beat the crap out of him. And Gary's actually stronger than the gym. WTF much? Well, I knew Daichu wasn't going to make that, but uh, yeah, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. <laughs> okay, Kayukon, let's take him out now. Flamethrower. <laughs> and... He's not dead. Wow. That is one hell of a Venusaur. Oh, not Synthesis. Restores your HP. No. Beep. Uh, okay. Let's try a Will O' Wisp. Where are you down? Because I know Flamethrower is not going to take you out this turn. Uh, Kayukon should be able to hold that off. <laughs> yep. Okay. You know, the good thing about gym leaders and uh, trainer battles is they rarely withdraw their own Pokemon out. Like, there's a couple of times where you might see them withdraw their Pokemon, but it's, like, the most rare thing you will ever see. It's like, sometimes it's not programmed in there. I don't know. Uh, even if you use Synthesis over and over again, you're still gonna end up dying Venusaur, so it doesn't really matter what you do right now. Okay, and he's gonna use Synthesis, right? Yeah. And you're gonna get burned, get burned, get burned! You know what I might do? I might confuse use Confuse Ray on it, that way it'll just stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a shot. Come on, you gotta stop healing yourself. I mean, come on, dude. That's such an, un an unoriginal strategy. That's not cool. And Synthesis. Wow! Yeah, I lost a turn of killing you. Then you're gonna use your next turn using an attack on me. Am I right? 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 I'm totally right. Okay. I really like how Flamethrower looks in this game. It's just the fact that Flamethrower comes from out of the strangest places on uh, the Pokemon. Like, when you see Charizard use um, Flamethrower in this game, it comes out of its neck. So it's like, really? Eh, I don't know. So it just looks really freaking odd to me. But whatever. You know, there were limitations back then. But you think they would aim it a little bit higher, because I mean it looks even a little low on Caillou Khan too. So I'm just uh, saying, even though I'm not, I wish I were. 
that we could turn my hair blonde, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Grins out for Gyarados. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Uh, Grins actually off-screen learned Destiny Bond, so if it comes to that, I can take it out eventually. Destiny Bond just takes out the Pokémon with you in case, uh, it dies. But since Grins has, like, this super high speed, it will always go first. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's see if we can Toxic and then Confuse it, possibly, maybe, I don't know. Uh, good Hydro Pump miss, very nice. And let's confuse it. Maybe that'll do something. <laughs> We're gonna slowly wear you down, Gyarados. We're gonna slowly wear you down. Wear you out like my shoes. The soles of my shoes. I keep my soul in my shoe. Because my, uh, sleeve isn't long enough <laughs> to keep my heart in it. Uh, well, that didn't make any sense because I'm not keeping my heart in my shoe. I'm keeping my soul. I have soul shoes. What the hell am I talking about anymore? I've kind of wandered into the Twilight Zone just now. I was like, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, just just kill Gyarados. <laughs> Why does it keep missing? I know it has low accuracy, but thank God it keeps missing though. It, wow, that worked in great favor of me. Jeez. Okay, so Alakazam. Okay, let's keep out Grins then. Alakazam is the final evolution of the Kadabra King... No, wait, I already went over this, didn't I? I don't know. It's the evolution of Kadabra. The end. It's a very good Pokemon. I would recommend it highly. Because this is very cool. Yeah, I went over Alakazam. Sabrina had Alakazam. Doi! That's one thing I don't get. Uh, Sabrina's main Pokemon in the anime was an Abra. It just evolved into Kadabra. So, for some reason, her main Pokemon is actually an Alakazam. So are we actually doing this, like, years later? After Ash did all this? It's like, wow, man. Wow. Makes you think, huh? No, not really. I mean, why would they have the Gym Leader's main Pokemon as a pre-evolved Pokemon? I don't, I don't know. But then again, uh, Brock's main Pokemon is pre-evolved, but then again, like, the anime didn't have those evolutions for it. Why am I trying to make sense out of the anime? It never made sense. I mean, you can fuse a freaking Venusaur with a Blastoise, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So, enough of my stupidity. Oh, God. No, I wasn't paying attention to that. I was thinking about other things. Oh, my God. Destiny Bond, Destiny Bond, Destiny Bond. <laughs> All right, Alex Sam has, like, God-like... Duh. Has God-like duh. Yeah. As godlike dough, it's gonna make me a um, pizza. It'd be very nice with Alakazam, but no. Alakazam is not that kind to me. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just... I don't know. <laughs> I'm kinda at a standstill here. I guess I'll... Ugh. I was gonna use Destiny Bond again, but it wouldn't have worked in succession, so... <laughs> oh, what? What? Okay, Destiny Bond stayed in play, so... <laughs> oh, man. I, I've never used the Destiny Bond Pokemon before, so... That was kind of a surprise to me. I, I just haven't. I was kind of surprised he hasn't evolved that Growlithe yet, because it evolves by, uh, Firestone. But then again, it stopped, like, using... Learning good moves, like... Around this level, so... I don't know what his deal is with it. <laughs> I don't even know why I sent out... Okay, well, he... They didn't tell me what Pokemon he was going to send out next, so I guess that's how it worked. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? Confuse it. Confuse this little puppy. Confuse it with the puppy, the puppy, the puppy, the puppy, the puppy, the puppy, Whatever. I do like Growlithe, because it is a cute little dog. I mean, it's cute, man. It has stripes. It looks like a little tiger dog thing. Seriously. Called Cerberus. But I actually like uh, Houndoom or Houndour over it, so... Yeah, it's nothing against you. It's just my opinion. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry this couldn't work out. <laughs> this is a long battle, I gotta say. This has been like 10 minutes of me doing nothing. Flame Wheel, huh? Flame Wheel is a very not too common move. A very not too common move. So it's a very not. Okay. I hear to best at to grammars. What? 
I was just careless, you. Sure, you said you were going your best, and you're like, Ugh. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Snag, you need more practice. I just beat your ass, and you think I need practice? But hey, you know that? I'm out of here. Smell ya. And he, s he still thinks he's too great to say he's later now. He he's just... He has this big ego that can never be fed. He's got a Snorlax of an ego, I swear. Okay, so let's heal up at the Viridian Pokemon Center. That way we can uh, progress on to the Indigo Plateau. Because, I mean, come on, man. Who doesn't want a pallet of Indigo Plateau? What is a plateau? I know what a plateau is. It's a thing. I have to look it up in the dictionary. I can't really think about it right now because I haven't... I'm not good at French. I know it's French, I think. Why am I bringing this up? I, I, I'm i not going to bring up a topic that I'm just completely stupid on. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, Leap of Faith. Yay! Leap of Faith was totally worth it. Okay. So this is the entrance to the Indigo Plateau. And for some reason, there's the cave music in here. Oh, that bullet branch. Go right ahead. Yeah, so every time you get a badge, you can actually go one place further. Very nice. Oh, you can pass only if you have the Cascade badge, which we do from Misty. And okay. Can let us go through. We can run. Okay. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder badge that we got from Lieutenant Surge. And let us go through, you jerk. You prick. You prick. We don't even have to go through there per precisely like we were supposed to. And we got the Rainbow Badge from Erica in Celadon. And we're gonna go with the water. So yes, you cannot progress on through here until you have Surf. And there are actually Pokemon in here. You can only progress through if you have the Soul Badge from Koga. And we got the Soul Badge. You know, I'm a soul man. I'm a soul man. And you can only pass if you have the Marsh Badge, which we got from Sabrina. And one more place. Duh! Oh, look, there's Slowpoke in here. Get out of here, Slowpoke. Why are Slowpoke in here? Get out of my Slowpoke. Enus and stuff. Whatever. Anyways, we gotta walk through here. Okay, what you got? You only pass if you have the Volcano Badge. And we do, so please stop telling me what to do. And let's see what else we got. We got. Is there anything over here? No. Pointless detours. Whatever. Okay. You can only pass if you have the Earth Badge. You have won the Earth Badge from Giovanni. Okay. I forgot to mention Blaine's name. He was a fire one. Okay. And I did not bring a Pokemon with Rock Smash. Duh. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's put up a Max Repel. Man, I really should have brought one. I, I, I wasn't thinking. I should have got some Max Repels while I was at it, too. But, oh, well, I guess I'll just cut. All right. So, we got these switches right here. What we have to do is move these boulders on top of them. Apparently, these Pokemon are really freaking strong in order for me to end up battling them anyway. Level 30, 43. Wow. Okay, let's Giga Drain it for the heck of it. I mean, really. We're here. We can Giga Drain you. I can Giga Drain you. Oh, it's so cute when it's playing dead. No, not really. It's gonna die. Okay. So anyways, now we've done that. We're gonna use strength on this. We can move the boulders around, and we're gonna move this on top of the switch, like I said before. The end of story, okay? The end of story. And I will be cutting the random encounters now. I just really wanted to show that because there are Pokemons in here. They're Pokemans. Okay, so we're just going to slowly move this rock over here. This chicken nugget has got to go on the switch. Please, Ronald McDonald. Okay, like I was saying, let's move the chicken nugget over to switch. And you'll notice that that rock is gone over there. Very nice. Now, if I could not get interrupted by every freaking Pokemon that's in this cave, I could probably get something accomplished in here, but who knows, huh? Who knows? Okay, so for right now, you can only get one of these items. It depends which one you want. Uh, I guess I'll go for the top one. I'm the top tier. A uh, Dragon Claw. Dragon-type move. Actually, very, very good move. The best Dragon-type move in the game right now, I think. Let me put a different Pokemon in the front. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna fight you because you look like you want to fight. 
You trying to pick a fight with me, huh? 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 You trying to pick a fight with me? Yeah, I know you're trying. I know you're trying to. Huh? 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Five Pokemon. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Suddenly, all the Pokemon in this place have turned level 40-something. It's kind of... Yeah. Kind of iffy on that. Okay. So we're just going to take on this trainer, and I think we're going to let off the episode, because we've gotten quite a few things accomplished here. Yeah. Wow. Critical. Quick just really loves me, then, huh? Yeah, I had to get rid of, uh, Grins, uh, to have the trio in our team that we could use, um, Rock Smash. So, that's what happened there. And we got Ponyta coming out. Why do you have a Ponyta in a level 40? Seriously, man, evolve your Pokemon! They are supposed to evolve! Why no your Pokemans evolve? Dude! Okay. And it's that? No, that or not the that. Whatever. Be this way. I guess I'll use strength. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you got a rapid dash. Okay, so you learned a little bit. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. And level 42, not bad. It's a pretty good Pokemon. It's a unicorn. You know, if it were a unicorn, you think the flames would be, like, made out of rainbows or something. It's like it has a rainbow tail or something. Make it a little girl's fantasy, for Pete's sake. Don't stop half-assed make it, like, half-boy, half-girl thing. I mean, seriously, that's not that's not how it works when you appeal to both genders. <laughs> Sometimes it does work, but whatever. That's not the point that we're here. The point is, you go all the way, man. You go all the way! Okay. And we have another fire type that's going to be a little bit tricky to deal with. I guess I'll call up Bonsai. I don't really have anything that's too great against uh, fire types besides Bonsai, so that's going to be a little bit of a pain in my butt if there's a whole bunch of fire types in here. All her Pokemon are fire types, so that's kind of bothering, <laughs> bothering me. Kind of sucks I had to kill Vulpix, but whatever. I had to kill Growlithe, too. I mean, seriously. Seriously, dude! And Ninetales, too. Wow, you're just making me murder some of the best Pokemon out there, aren't you? Prick. You prick. Huh? 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 You're a prick. Huh? You're a prick, huh? 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 Yeah, you're a prick. You're a prick. You're a prick. You didn't hit me. Because you suck. Because you're a prick. And you, you used a Hyper Potion. Why the heck do you have a Hyper Potion? I'll never know. Because you're a prick. Take that. Yeah. Suck it. Okay. Bite. Nom 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 nom. Ew. You taste bad. Okay, you surf. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> yeah, that was that was weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing there. I, I, it was like I was trying to get pumped up for this, and I was like, uh, I don't know. It's starting to sound creepy now. Anyways, I think we're going to end this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green version off. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green version, please subscribe, favorite, like, or just comment. So I'll see you guys next time when we try to complete the um, Victory Road, which I did not officially declare when we first went in there. So I'll see you guys next time when I actually have more items in my inventory, possibly. Maybe, like, level up or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Later.